Good evening. Uh, this is a gearing up video and hopefully you'll see who it is immediately. Um, Ray Jedi Training. Sorry, I've suddenly got a really itchy leg. Ow! Oh, oh, that's, that was weird. Nah, never mind. Maybe I need to trim my nails. Who knows? Okay, so here she is. She currently is gear level nine and a half. Uh, the half I'm validating by saying that she has three of the, her six pieces of gear required to gear level 10. The pieces are a Mark V stun gun. Bang, sorry I didn't look at the stats, but the previous gearing up will show those. Uh, a new bit scanner and a Mark VI Merson Shield Generator. You have to say it that way, it says so in the book. So here she is at the moment, 21,540 health, 17,929 protection, 213 speed, 1999 physical damage, 32.65 armor, 1768 special damage, 13.68 resistance. I'm just reading out the bullet points there. Bang. Why aren't they all plussed? They're all plussed. Yay. So, that took her up to 21,627, 24,4. 4442. So what's that? It's 45k near as well, around about health protection. 2004 physical damage, so it took her up by five, a whole five increase on physical damage there. 32.65% armor, 1777 special damage, 13.68% resistance. That's her gear level 10. Oh, a few of these at the moment. Not sure many of these. I don't think I'm going to get her on this gear tier at, at the moment. She needs two of these. Oh, what have I taken away? Oh, look at that. I need a Mark VI stun gun. All right. Well, that's really annoying. I was hoping to get her up to gear level 11. I haven't. I've got her up to gear level 10 and 5 sixths. Oh well. Health 22,065. Protection hasn't changed. Physical damage has increased. It's now 2361. So that was an increase. 33.56 um, armor. 1905 special damage. 14.37% resistance. I will have to return at a later time um, in regards to applying her sixth piece of gear, which will then take her up to at least gear 11. Um, and then we'll see whether we can extend that to even 12. She is a character that I would like to. Um, while we're here, I am also going I, I want to do the serve again unique. I really do, but I, 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 I need, I need, it's not I need, I want to have a Zeta at least in reserves, just in case uh, we, somebody comes up with a new comp that, that annihilates everything else and it's a tune I already have that just needs a Zeta or whatever you know um, so I'm gonna work on <laughs> collecting some more Zetas but that 10% max health stacking until the end of the encounter uh, does look very very nice I and mean, she already gets the uh, gains 50% turn meter part but what I am going to do is I am going to craft 
and craft. So before we equip these, so these are two gear 12 pieces. Here she is at the moment. Uh, uh, this is me just being curious. I'm gonna have to look back over it all, I suppose, afterwards. Uh, health 21,364. So that's what's going to increase the main part. Oh, and strength 818. Um, the reason I meant strength, mentioned strength, is because this armor tech armor plating gives her 1500 health, 110 strength, and 25 armor. So I'm just curious as to where that will show afterwards. Well, there's the armor. 26.85% at current, at current, currently, 26.85%, 29.6 resistance, okay, so let's just do it, so another 100, 210 onto my galactic power, as you can see now strength has gone from 818 up to 928, increases health and armor. So there's her health now, 25,029. So that gives her a combined 60K on health and protection now. Um, I didn't really look at the other numbers. Armour is now 30.29%. 29.6% resistance. And the other piece... Another 210 onto the galactic power. And now her health is 31,279. Protection's 35,000. So that's taken her now up to 66,000 health protection. Uh, I don't think any of the other numbers will have changed, will they? 30.29% armor. 3693 special damage, 29.6 resistance. Um, what I didn't show you is if I now go to all, what I did earlier today was I filtered under health. And when I did that, she was like five rows down. Wow, that's changed. I was predicting that she would fall between fives and Obi-Wan Kenobi or old Ben. Um, but of course, with that slight increase, that puts her right up there with all the healthies. Nice. That's one health pool that she will now have. Um, this is in preparation, of course, for um, Dark Side Territory Battles. And with that said, because I couldn't do Ray, what I will do is take Stark up to the next level. So I'm slowly, whenever I see them, I'm picking them up. I need 37 more shards to seven star my Stark. Uh, I haven't deployed any Omegas as yet. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. But his health protection at the moment is what? That's 35, 36,000, 2160. 1982, 15.62, just reading out the numbers. Let's equip there, craft and equip here, and craft and equip here, and upgrade. Ooh, really? Oh, okay. I can't deploy that until he's seven stars. Oh, you can have that. Uh, miles away from the next one. That I can't do until he's seven star. Same applies here. He can't have that until he's seven star. And 
What don't I have here? Ah. Oh, I don't have a Mark 6. Otherwise, he could have the Mark 3 back to jail. Ah. Where are we? So now, bearing in mind he's 6 star. Health 17, 7, 8, 9. Protection 26, 7, 2, 9. So combined now is 44,000. My maths is probably way off. 2223. Physical damage. 28.17 armor. 1987 special damage. 18.01 resistance. Um, and while we're at it, you've probably noticed that I have got enough shards. I might as well activate my Imperial Probe Droid IPD. <laughs> I'll get a thousand GP for doing that. Cool. Um, oh, there's a credit heist today. So, yeah, let's get rid of lots and lots of credits. Oh, another 2000 galactic power just for maxing his levels. Nice. Uh, we'll throw as many of these things on as I can. Really? It's amazing the stuff that you just expect to have and don't. Look at that, I can't even get him to gear level seven. Boo, I've got loads of those. They want 1400 for that in the stores. It's criminal, isn't it? So we need those. Yeah. I need a load of Mark 7s. Yeah, they ain't happening at the moment. Do physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to expose them for two turns. There's an 80% that's worth popping on, isn't it? Dispel all buffs on all enemies with a 30% chance to inflict target or 45% chance to target lock for two turns, then remove. Oh, 
what we've got here. All right, 60% chance to inflict target lock for two turns. And then remove 4% turn meter. So it's an additional 1% turn meter reduction and a plus 15% target lock. So the Omega there will give you a 75% chance to inflict target lock for two turns, then remove 5% turn meter from the target locked enemies. This attack can't be evaded. I'm sent in a galactic war using a few of these tunes coming up. Imperial probe droid instantly defeats itself, so can't be revived. Deal massive damage. Actually, it says mahusive damage to target enemy. Deal bonus damage to other enemies equal to 12% of their max health. This attack can't be evaded while Imperial, while Imperial probe droid has full health or has no active allies. The cooldown of this ability is set to max and can't be reduced. <laughs> cool down of one. So what's actually changing? Oh, equal to okay. And the Omega there is expose all locked, all target locked enemies for two turns. Wow, that's a lot of reading. Okay. And we've got the unique, and the unique is Imperial Trop. Wow, Imperial Probe Droid has a percentage max, a plus percentage max health at the end of each Droid Ally turn, at the end of each Empire Ally turn, and at the end of each Rebel Enemy turn. Imperial Probe Droid gains a percentage of turn meter. While Imperial Probe Droid is active, target locked enemies have a percentage, a negative percentage evasion. So I'll just click through and then I'll read it when I get it to seven. I'm guessing that this is the Zeta, is it? This is the Zeta. So let's go through it again now. Imperial Probe Droid has a 50%, has plus 50% max health at the end of each Droid Ally turn, at the end of each Ally turn, and at the end of each Rebel Enemy turn. Imperial Probe Droid gains 3% turn meter. While Imperial Probe Droid is active, target locked enemies have a minus 25% evasion and can't gain buffs. Ooh. Oh, that looks quite funky. It's still only gear six. Um, I don't know what we're going to stick on here. Um, crit chance, crit damage, maybe. Let's just max that one out. I had a load of um, a load of grey sp speed mods. So um, uh, what have we got there? Three speed, ten speed. Oh no, doing it. Oh, actually, let's see. No speed, no speed. Five speed, five speed. Uh, crit damage. We'll start here, crit damage. Oh, right. Okay, so I'm going to do some um, upgrading of mods whilst doing this. Plus six speed turn. Oh, oh that's not too shabby, is it? 1400%, 1400%, I wish. 1400 protection, or minus five. And speed to nine. I've got a bit of defense in percentage and offense as a whole number. That's, I like that. So what have we got here? Five speed, uh, that. Um, I don't think I have any real... I've 
I've got eight speed health there, I suppose. Defense. Uh, okay. I'll upgrade that and pop that on. Okay, so I don't have any crit damage. Do I have any crit chance? Yes, I do. They're all four dot. Yay. Nine speed and defense. Defense. Oh, go on. What's that got? First turn is protection. Second turn is speed. Okay. Oh, that's health. That's crit chance with three speed on it. So what have we got there? Defense and nine speed. So we'll assign that, which means that these two now have to be crit damage. We've got a five speed and a zero speed. So five speed wins. And finally, what we've got here What's that? Health and four speed. Health, four speed. Health, four speed. Health, eight speed. Nice, Andy, because that one was maxed. Okay, so um, super green. I'm liking all the green there, but of course it, that's all it can be. Because prior to this, he didn't have any mods. So there's only 69 speed I've added. Yeah. But a thousand GP, lovely jubbly. Right, I believe that is me now done. Stark can't go beyond gear eleven until he's seven star. Um, yeah, that's all I'm doing there. I hope that was a bit of fun. Uh, we'll finish on him. Thank you for watching.